All right, now we're going to try to finish our layout. So I've got a one column for my banner, which is 100%, two columns for my left and right call, which are 50% each. So each row needs to add up to 100. If you want to help yourself get organized, you can use this is comment code. So it's just caret, exclamation, dash, dash, and you type whatever you want, and you close it off with dash, dash, caret. So that's optional, but that just helps you to kind of get organized once you get so many divs going on. So my next div is just going to be a single column. I'm going to give it a name by saying ID. And I'm going to call this one single call because it's just going to be a single row. And I'm going to close it off. I'm going to go ahead and add some content to this div. Single column. And now let's style it. If you give something an ID, you have to do pound sign, single call. And I'm going to do the width of 100%. And I'm going to go ahead and add a background color, which I'll change later once I get a color scheme generator. But for now, I'll just choose something. And close off the curly brace. And now let's preview it to see how it, if it works. So my banner is 100%. Each of these columns are 50%, and my single column I set to 100%. Now watch as I resize the screen. They maintain those percentages no matter what size my browser is, making it more responsive. For those coders that like to be organized, go ahead and use this comment code so you know which row you're on and you don't get lost in all the divs. And now let's try to do a three-column row. So I'm going to give them a name, div ID equals, and I'm going to call this call one, close the div. To save time, I'm just going to copy and paste this two more times and change it to two and three. So now I've got my three columns and now it's time to style. If you give something ID, you want to do a pound sign, call one. And we're going to do a width since there are three columns. All three have to add up to 100%. So I'm going to do 33.33% and a background color. I'm just going to pick something for now, but I'll use a color scheme generator later. And to save time. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this and just change it out to 2 and 3. Another option for doing this same thing would be to do a comma, call 2, comma, call 3. So you can style multiple selectors. Um, and you only have to add the values one time. Let's check it out. And I just want you to see that I've went ahead and I added in some content into these divs. And we also want to make sure if we want them to be side by side that we float left. All right, and here in the preview view, you'll notice that when I go to resize, they all scale down and scale back up. And to get rid of that extra space that my headings had, I just put a margin of zero. So you can just see that right here. I just did H1 margin zero, and that got rid of that extra spacing that was getting added in there. And then the final challenge is let's go ahead and add in a footer that is one column. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in a footer. I'm going to give it the name footer. Once you open a div, you must close it. Let's go ahead and add some content to that div. And let's go and style it. If you give something an ID, you want to style it with a hashtag, footer. And since this is going to fill the entire row, I'm going to make this 100%. Let's go ahead and give it a background color so we can see where the div is. And close that value off the semicolon. So selector property value. And let's preview it. So here my new layout is. And then I can grab the edges of it. 
and drag in and everything resizes and drag back out.